Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So we meet again uh, in CAC 318 Web Application Development. Okay, so now we are in week 10. Okay, so what uh, we will focus is uh, a new topic okay, which is Introduction to uh, Server-Side Scripting. Okay, so we will look at what is the server-side scripting. Okay, and then in our syllabus class, so we will learn about PHP. Okay, which is the language that we will learn. Okay, and we will look at how you can uh, design okay, your own web uh, application using PHP language. So we will. This is our last topic. Uh, so we will look at this topic until uh, week uh, thirteen. Okay, and uh, after that you will have your presentation for the group project. Okay, for PHP lesson for the uh, W3 school website. So now we look at uh, the theory part of PHP. Okay, so uh, why we learn about PHP language? Because it is a powerful tool for making dynamic and interactive web pages. So PHP is the widely used, free and efficient alternative to competitors such as Microsoft ESP. So for your information, before this, uh, before we change the uh, into PHP language, we are using Microsoft ESP. Okay, so before you learn about PHP language, so you need to have very basic okay, knowledge about HTML or XHTML and also the JavaScript which is uh, we have learned this one okay the first part in our lesson in CC318 which is the HTML the next part is the JavaScript okay what is actually the PHP stand for okay PHP stand for PHP hypertext free processor so means that uh, this is hypertext language okay do so this we call this scripting language not the programming language that, uh, like JavaScript so it is um, server side scripting language okay so this is we call that server side okay if, if you still remember okay the comparison between server side and, uh, and also the uh, user side okay okay and then php scripts are executed on the server so that is the main key differences between server side and user side okay okay and then we have php support many databases so when we have the server side okay normally uh, we will use together with the databases okay so what is the purpose of databases so databases is actually to store the information that you want to uh, process okay so this is example of the databases that supported by uh, php language okay you can use this together with the php language such as mysql sql informix okay? oracle cb solid postgres sql general or dbc and so on but in our syllabus we only use the mysql sql okay so uh, this is another reason okay why we learn php because it is open source software okay there is no license so it is free okay unlike the asp okay asp it is uh we need you need to have the microsoft so microsoft you need to pay the uh, microsoft okay so it is a free to download and use right okay so what is a php file so php files can contain text html text and also the scripts so php files are written to the browser as plain html so the extension file for php is dot php okay and also you can have dot php3 or phtml but basically we normally use the dot php for the php file extension okay now we look at the what is the mysql okay mysql okay it is a database server Okay, so it's deal for both small and large applications. Okay, support standard SQL statement. Okay, and then compiles on a number of platforms. Okay, so you can use either using the uh, operating system uh, Windows or uh, Apple. Okay, operating system. So it is also free to download and use. Okay, okay. So how you can use PHP and MySQL together? So, uh, 
you can have a um, uh, for example we can use the uh, page my admin okay or uh wham okay uh wham or a uh, zam okay so you can use either web or them so i will uh, show you how to use that okay later on so we look at the theory part first okay why you need to use the php okay why we change from esp to php because php runs on different platforms okay so as i mentioned so you can use windows or other operating system okay compatible with almost servers today apache okay apache server so you can use uh, the uh, application i mentioned when or them because we have the apache server okay and it is free to download from the official website and easy to learn and runs efficiently on the server side so how to start okay uh, how to start to write the code uh, for php so you need to install the server first okay so you need to make your computer as a local uh, server okay your computer or your laptop as a server okay and it can uh, both run okay php and also the database server okay 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 so before we go to how to set up uh, uh, your server okay in your computer okay so we look at the function of php or what php can do so php basically can generate dynamic web page content so you have learned uh, html okay which is you cannot create dynamic content correct okay and then you have learned javascript which is you can create the dynamic content but very limited Okay, uh, with we without the database, but using the PHP language, okay, you can create and generate dynamic page content, and you can also have the server. So that's why we can uh, we say that it can create open, read, write, delete, and close file on the server. So this is your setting for the. You can create a setting for the server and collect from data, which is you can store in the database. Okay, send and receive cookies. Okay. So this is uh, one of the function uh, when you have the server side scripting. Okay, and then you can add, delete, modify data in your databases and can be used to control as user access. Okay, you can create admin, okay, and you can encrypt the sum of the data. So with PHP, you are not limited to output the HTML. So you can output images, PDF files, and even flash movies. So you can also output any text okay, such as XML and XML. So now uh, we are in uh, using the PHP 7 okay, with version okay, which is uh, much faster okay, and then improve ha uh, error handling okay, and then support strict, uh, stricter okay, type declaration of functions and good arguments support new operators okay, we will see uh, all the function that we have in the php7 okay so that can we need to try okay the, how to write your own code right in your computer so how you can write your php code in the computer so it is uh, cannot run as, as simple as HTML code and also the JavaScript where you use your notepad and then you save in your uh, directory. After that, you just click the file and then it will open in the browser. But using PHP, as I mentioned, this is a server site. So you need to make your computer as a server first. Then you can view in the local host, okay, which is uh, you can view in the browser. Uh, using the local host okay so first you need to set up okay your own pc as a server so you need to install okay uh this uh, important things okay web server okay php and also the database mysql so you can uh, look at this official website okay php to get uh how instruction okay how to install the php okay let us try Okay, so now and then, this is the official PHP website where we have the installation and configuration setting. So you can read all this to get some idea what the uh, PHP is all about. Okay, now we look at the general installation and considerations. So this website mentioned that before you create 
uh, before you want to download the PHP so you need to know okay, the purpose uh, why you need to use this okay so as our in our syllabus so each of you okay in a group so you need to uh, develop a web based system so this is what PHP can do PHP can have uh, you can create websites and web application which is on the server side scripting okay and uh, PHP can uh, do command line scripting and also the desktop GUI, GUI applications okay okay so in this website you can install the PHP first right okay so go to the downloads.php okay so which one that you want to uh, you can also have the php 8.7 but i think we just uh, use the current stable php uh, version 7 okay okay so it will have uh, uh, download it okay it will take some time okay in the zip file okay so next okay you need to have the uh the server okay which is the uh php server and also the mysql uh, just now we just download the php uh php um content okay it's not server so okay as i mentioned you can have very uh very good okay uh, application which is a XAMPP or WAM because it is more, this is very uh, easy to use okay it combines the uh, both uh, PHP server and also the database okay, which is MySQL so it is easy for you to generate or run both okay so just uh, Google and type XAMPP okay and then okay so you just go to these installers and download for Apache friends okay Okay, and then go to the download. Alright, so why you use Zem? Because Zem is a completely free, easy to install Apache distribution because you need to have the server, okay, Apache, right? Okay, and then containing some of the uh, application that you can have, okay? okay so you can download this is also we have the video or the youtube you can uh, just uh, right you can you, you can choose this one okay this is to get the version uh, using which the latest version which is 8 not the 7 so i choose the windows okay so it will download same okay so we just now we have uh, download the php file Okay, so you need to open and unzip the file okay and you need to extract okay so remember class what you need to have in order for you to write your own uh, php which is first you need to have the server the web server which is we use the apache okay and then you need to have the database server which is we use the mysql and the third one you need to have the php file so this one is the php file means that you need to have the complete php file uh, and then uh, you can uh, put that inside the web server okay okay and actually in my computer i already have the xam okay so one once you install uh the xam okay as usual you just uh once you uh, completely download the uh, file you just double click and it will install the uh, application or the software into the computer okay and it will save in the c directory so this is the xam Okay, this is all the file that we have okay okay and then where we put all the file for php so we will uh, put in the uh, hash, hash, uh, hd docs okay uh, so this is all the uh, file that we have okay okay uh show you how you can run your server uh, on your own pc so actually we have php online compiler or editor so you need to have a online um, 
your internet okay because it is online so without internet you can you cannot use this editor so this is example from the w3 schools online php compiler so from this you can try uh, to run the code okay as sim, uh, same as html and also the javascript okay so we will look at the code okay later on all right so we will uh before we look at the syntax, okay, I will show you how to set up your uh, server first. Okay, so you have installed your XAM. So how do you know whether you have installed your XAM or not? So go to directory C, okay, and then find the folder XAM. Okay, this is my folder where I have these files. Okay, now how you can run the server? Okay, uh, you cannot just access the PHP file. Uh, double click the file and then it will appear in the browser cannot so you need to have a server so how can okay, you go to the uh, search and then type xam okay and then we have the code we use a xam or wem because it is easy you have the control panel and you can just open the control panel and then you can just run the server This is how the control panels uh, control panel looks like. Okay, the, uh, we have very simple interface here. Zam control panel. Another application that we have is WAM. Okay, you can try uh, either one. So here we have module which is a server. We have Apache, MySQL, Fuzzilla, Mercury, Tomcat. So normally we will try to run these two okay, important things. Okay, Apache and also the MySQL. Okay, we start the Apache. So if uh, it can run there is no conflict in terms of the uh, spot okay you can run okay this one is uh, success okay the color green means that uh, it's success okay okay and then masiko so usually for uh, masiko is no problem okay uh, usually we have problem with the apache server it will have complete in terms of the ports all right Okay, and then how you can um, try to look at the uh, what you have inside your uh, server okay you can also click the admin for example so it will go to the local host okay admin is actually uh, for us to see what we have in the local host okay it will take some time okay, it depends on your computer okay so how to uh, when you have uh, run your apache server and mysql and then how to look at the file that you have you can click the admin okay and then it will go to the browser but uh, if it doesn't work so you need to look at the port here so port is 888 so you need to put something like this okay and enter so this is the dashboard so basically when you uh, when it is success when it, you click the admin button it will go to the dashboard means that uh, it is success okay okay so this is the dashboard that we have okay so you can click my page my admin here okay to see uh, the what uh, the data looks like okay that we have here okay this is the the what is already have in our folder here because uh, this one is not new uh, I already installed it and use the server so we have more than one database okay so if you like page my admin and then you can see it in the okay this is all the database okay what you can see in your uh, browser here okay here all the databases that you have here or this, this is all the databases class so you can look in your directory in your xam okay and then you find the mysql mysql folder and you find the data so this is all the database that you have okay okay then Okay, we want to look at the first page right okay when you run the server now you can test your file okay okay so okay, okay 
Okay, so I want to go to the page. Okay, so this is info what we have. Okay, actually, I want to look at my file. Where is my file? Okay, next. Okay, how you can uh, run your page first uh, file? Okay, first PHP file. So you need to access the HD Docs folder. Okay, so in my case is one. Okay, I try whatever that we have here. So I want to access the Patty if you will have folder. So I just um, type in okay, here and then enter. So it will uh, list all the files that we have in the directory. So you click at the basic. So what you have this is all the PHP file. So how you can uh, uh, view the PHP so you need to click this and it will automatically uh, show you the file okay so this is what we have here okay okay so this is not this is actually just a warning not the error so it will uh, we can off the error so I will show later on okay so what we have here okay we have menu add view search and we have also the lockout okay so suppose that uh, in this example basic Okay, you need to uh, have the uh, login first. Okay, username and password. Okay, what is the login? Uh, you can assess. Okay, you can look at the uh, file. Okay, using the or you can look at the code using the uh, H, uh, PHP editor. So which is you can use also the uh, Notepad plus plus. Okay, okay, that is how you can. Um, run your php so first you need to install the uh the apache server okay uh, and then the mysql so uh, in this case we use the xam okay, application and then you run the xam okay make sure that your apache and mysql module or server can run okay uh, the color is green okay after that you need to go to the admin and then assess the hdocs document Okay, then once you assess so now you are you can you are ready to view the or try the PHP file. Okay, so I will I want you to try to set up your computer as a local host first. Okay, alright, good luck. That's all for our lesson. Okay, thank you very much. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.